and the Carthaginians as well. Oh, they gave the Romans hell because they attacked Rome. The Carthaginians attacked Rome over the Alps on elephants. And the Romans were never expecting that. <laughs> Romans were there going, what? The Carthaginians are attacking? God, I knew they'd do that. What? They're attacking over the Alps. Damn, I knew they'd do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're coming on elephants. <laughs> How'd they get the elephants? There are only elephants in Europe. <laughs> this I've got to see. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure it's just not a typo mistake? <laughs> the Carthaginians attack and they're coming over the Alps, they're in their element. <laughs> Upbeat, you know? They're coming on fucking elephants, right? They weren't gonna, you know, they were gonna come on skis, of course. That was the way in down the fucking Alps. But the, and the, the, the Carthaginians had their leader Hannibal and his brother Hasdrubal, have a ball and have a banana. <laughs> Whose real name was Whoa, have a banana. <laughs> and, and Hannibal went to the shop and said, skis for all my men, we're going to attack the Romans with the Alps. And the guy said, sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> we're going to attack the Romans over the Alps, in fact. All oh, right, well, we're fresh out of skis at the moment. Last pair just went to... Uh, someone. <laughs> oh, well, that's a bummer. Well, we've got some elephants, though. <laughs> Are they good at skiing? <laughs> oh, tops! <laughs> Top skiers, they are. Because elephants were much more live back in Roman times. <laughs> much more like Austrian skiing instructors are today. <laughs> Off the tops of those roofs of chalets. <laughs> <laughs> what about the people who lives in those those wooden huts? <laughs> Fuck off my roof! <laughs> Stop skiing off my roof, you bastards! <laughs> Bloody elephants! <laughs> All my life living out Heathrow. <laughs> Come out here, fucking hell. Bit of peace and quiet. Boom! Fucking elephants off my roof. Sorry about that, Mrs. Bad Crumble. <laughs> anyway. So you think I should take up the clarinet, do you? <laughs> yes, I do. I think it'd be very good. <laughs> Mr. Caesar here has been learning the clarinet for some time now. <laughs> yes, I have. It's a very good instrument. <laughs> it's very sexy. I'm learning Sniggers of Bogan Rig. Isn't that Sniggers of Bogan Rug? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I don't know, Mrs. Bear Crumble. I mean, you know, I'm just, uh... Why am I Australian, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. My country hasn't even been invented yet. <laughs> Except by the indigenous race that lives there. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what all that bit's about. <laughs> Sorry about living here in this house. Boom, fuck off my roof! I'm going to put a huge hairnet up. That's what I'll do. <laughs> this will stop them doing it. Elephant's going... Woo, 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 foom, foom. <laughs> and you're going to stay there. <laughs> Could we have our ball back, please? <laughs> so they did. So Hannibal said, All right, well, then, you've, you've proved it with that small film there. You've, you've led me into it with that small elephant skiing. Uh, are you sure they're good for elephants? You know, sure, sure it's a good idea? Said, oh, yes, if you've never seen an elephant ski, then you've never been on acid. <laughs> Too true. As your film shows. Right. Elephants for all my men. Uh, what size do you take? Uh, six and a half elephants, thanks. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Right, you guys better be good at skiing. Woo! Woo! Shh. Huge ski sticks. <laughs> And, and the ski lifts back in those days were enormous. I don't know if you've seen <laughs> Carthaginians just sitting in those bucket seats with two elephants hanging off their feet. <laughs> Carthaginians going, oh, my thighs! Oh. 